Hi guys, welcome to Chuck's Corner. We have another cool video for you today. It's something that I usually don't show too much on video. It's close-up magic. Now, I've been hired. We're in the last days of October 2023. I've done close-up magic throughout the whole month as well as big stage shows. Close-up magic is mingling through the crowd generally, but it can be this as well where you set up a table and people can stand around you. But first comes Sherry's Coffee. <laughs> And it really is good coffee. I mean, I have about two cups a day. But let me show you something here. This is a classic close-up effect. It's called the chop cup. What I have here is a die. And it is a regular die. It can be examined. We're going to cover it back up. And I'm going to basically remove it like so. And we're going to place it into my pocket. And lo and behold, it reappears. We'll place it covered back up. Look at this. We're going to remove it. And I'll place it into my pocket again. And yes, you guessed it. It reappears as well. Now we're going to place this back into my pocket. And if I give the cup a shake, look at this. A giant one appears. But people accuse me all the time of playing dirty pool. And I guess they'd be right on this. Because we have a gigantic pool ball. So there you go. My rendition of the classic chop cup. Now what I have here is something kind of neat. I love cards. Cards are probably my favorite. And we could give these a shuffle. And I have Sherry out here. Sherry, you can just you can tell me where to stop anywhere. It doesn't matter. Stop. All right, you want this card? This card? What do you, what do you want? On the bottom. This one right here? Yes. All right. Look at that card and remember it. Okay. Okay. Now watch very closely. I'm going to cut the pack like so. And I'm going to drop your card in. Drop the rest on top. No breaks. Here's a friend of mine. His name is Poochie. <laughs> Isn't he cute? There you go. We're gonna Poochie's gonna try and find your card. Okay? Watch. He says he got it. We'll see what happens. Poochie, I'm gonna deal the cards one at a time onto the pedestal, onto your base. And you let me know when you think Sherry's card is about to be dealt. Oh! He's barking, Sherry! The very next card, was this it? Yes. All right, Pucci, you're doing a great job. Inverti would be proud. <laughs> this is not Inverti. This is my rendition of the Inverti Barking Dog. I built this a while back, and he still works like a charm. All right, we're going to do a little bit of mentalism here. I have a clock with the hours. All right, it's just a placard, and I have a marker. What I'm going to do, Sherry, is... Make a prediction. Okay. So let's see what we can do here. Now, this is a free choice. You, you, we do not have anything planned. I mean, I can actually roll a die if you'd like. And, and, uh, but you go ahead and name any hour. It's totally your choice. Seven. Seven. Would you like to change it or do you want to stick with it? No, we'll stick with now, it. Now, why did you pick that? Is that a special memory for it's you? my favorite number. It's your favorite number. Uh -huh. Well, apparently it's mine as well. Uh. There you go. <laughs> now, we can wipe this off because it, it is a dry erase type of thing. Okay. All right. Now, look. I'm going to draw another prediction. Okay. okay. And we'll cap it. And would you say what hour you selected? Three. Three. Any particular reason why you picked that? No. Mm -hmm. Well, that's a pretty cool number. It's yeah. apparently pretty popular because I picked it as well. <laughs> so there you go. Some mentalism. And I'm mental, so it works out perfect. <laughs> hey, thanks a lot, guys. Have a great day.